we're going to look at the spelling of a couple of tricky words here. Before we get to uh, the word one, we're going to learn how to spell one, we have to think about where this word came to us, how it came to us, and what are the words that are related to it. So before we spell the word one, I want you to think about the word alone. If I'm all alone, alone, I have two syllables. The first syllable is a, uh, and I'm going to use the a to spell the a uh sound because a is often used to say a uh, when it's at the very beginning or the very end of a word. A uh, lone. Okay, the next sound is l o lone lone, and then I need e to make the o say o oh. alone. If I am alone, I am the only one person around. Related to this is the word lone. A lone person means they're the only one. L O lone. And then I need a silent E to make the O say O. Oh, lone. Or if I am alone, or if I'm the lone person, I might be lonely. So I have lone, with the E to make the O say O, oh, lonely, L-E, and Y says E at the end of a multi-syllable word. So if I am alone, I'm the only one person around. I might be the lone person, that means just one person. I can, if I am all alone, I might feel lonely. Do you see something happening here? Let me show you something here. Do you see something in each of these words? Guess what? That's the word one. Now, the funny part is of the word one that we used to pronounce the word one, or the English language pronounce, pronounce the number one as own many, many, many years ago, like several hundred years ago. People used to say own for the number one because that's the way it was written, O-N-E, own. But over time, because of slang and people talking in different ways, the pronunciation changed to one. We have the one sound, the w sound there. But people were used to spelling it this way, so the spelling didn't change, even though the pronunciation did. So to spell the word one, I want you to think about the word one. The w first sound, w, I have nothing to spell that word, that sound, the w sound. And then the next sound is w. I'm going to do this in red because it's so crazy. There, there. There's nothing spelling the w sound, w, w, uh, and here we have the o saying uh, the n, one, and I kept the e, even though it's not doing anything here. The word is one, and the spelling exists because we used to say own. We don't say own anymore, we say one. So there's one person and the w sound. There's nothing spelling the w sound, okay? Related to this is the word once. If I've done something only one time, we use the word once. And again, we have nothing spelling the w sound. One, a, uh, N, s, and you, we use the C to say S, and then we have an E here to make the C say S. It's not making the O say O, not anymore, because we don't say that anymore. But it's there still making the C say S, because C will say S in front of E, I, and Y. Okay, so the word one is a very odd spelling and I think you can get used to it. Okay, that you have to spell it without, with nothing making the w sound. All right, there you go, that's it for today.